This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Hello my goblins and ghouls, my name is Steven. Today we're getting back to it. I kinda have my studio here set up just enough that I can really justify working on projects again. The shop is nowhere close, that's gonna take forever, and that's what I'll probably make a video about later, but for now, this is set up okay. So if you remember a few episodes ago, I said the big main thing that we still need in the index is full software integration between OpenPNP, the motherboard, and the feeders, all of that talking really well together. So today that's what we're gonna work on. The big thing here is getting Marlin to understand commands from OpenPNP to control the feeders, and then be able to send that out over RS-45 to all the feeders on the bus. And that will finally let us make all three of these parts all talk together and work totally through OpenPNP control. It's gonna be so sick. It's gonna be so sick. No second board for controlling feeders necessary. Marlin just receives all the commands from OpenPMP and knows exactly how to delegate out to all of its pins, all of its peripherals. So in order to test this properly, I need to make another feeder. Right now I only have one. Okay, let's make another feeder. exact same as the first feeder that I made except that it takes 12 millimeter tape instead of 8. So now that I have both of them, I'm gonna try and get them to listen to the RS-45 line from the motherboard and use that to send commands from OpenPNP to tell them to move forward tape. Now the correct way to do this, no air quotes, it's the correct way, is to come up with a custom protocol to talk to the feeders and have bi-directional communication and that whole rigmarole. That is still very much in development and there's a bunch of people in the Discord working on making that happen. In the meantime, I'm gonna do a bit of a bodge to try and make this still work so I can test running multi-feeder jobs even before the RS-45 stuff is all buttoned up. So now it's time to write a little bit of code and try and get these things to take commands through Marlin from OpenPMP. I am so excited. We can now control multiple feeders within a job within the realm of OpenPNP. No weird hacks or glitches or any other weird things going on. It's all OpenPNP deciding it's time for this part to move with this feeder, let me actuate it, and it does the whole thing through Marlin. Oh. And it picks the parts. It like reliably and repeatedly picked up 
Even though 0805s with a really big nozzle, I don't have the nozzle switcher mounted to the plate right now. So I just stuck with one nozzle size. And even with that really big one that can pick up a NeoPixel, I was still able to get an 0805. I'm sure I can get much more precise with a smaller nozzle tip. But it reliably picked both of them every single time in all the tests I ran once I had the pick position really dialed in. It was rock solid. The feeders performed really, really well. They move parts forward really quickly, definitely with enough time for the head to come back, so I definitely have some space to speed up the whole machine's movement, and the feeders will be able to keep up with that. I also think I have a little bit of space to tune the firmware in the feeders to get them to index parts faster, so tons of space for speeding this whole thing up for sure. Now, the actual placements on the board are less than great, but I had vision turned off for this test. I just wanted to make sure that the reliability of picking parts off the feeders was super good. Also, to kind of see if I even needed vision on the part in the feeder to perfect pick it up. I don't really think that's necessary anymore. The feeder's pretty good at putting the part exactly in the same place as it was before. Now, I'm only working with 0805s right now. When we start getting down to 06, 03, and if we try and do a 402s, we might need to have some vision to check the part in the feeder before it tries to pick it to make sure it can even grab the part to begin with. But we'll have to see on that. Once we have vision tuning the position of the part, after it's on the nozzle, so upwards vision, I think it's called bottom vision in OpenPNP, then the placements are gonna get much more accurate because it's adjusting for any skew that the part has within the tape and anything that happened during the picking process of it kind of getting offset, it'll calibrate all that out and be able to place it much more accurately. I'm also using a glow tie board which doesn't have fiducials, so I'm using OpenPNP's built-in, your board doesn't have fiducials, do you wanna calibrate exactly where it is? procedure, which is pretty good, but when you use this function, you pretty much give it three or four placements on your board, and it will move the camera over them, and you adjust it very finely to get it perfectly over the placement. This works pretty well, but I have a feeling fiducials are going to be really, really good, way more accurate. Also, my solve for talking to multiple feeders through Marlin and OpenPMP is not elegant at all. It's kind of a bodge. I am technically using RS-485, but I'm not using like a proper protocol through it. It's it's kind of jank. But again, this is just a test to see if multiple feeders can reliably index parts and pick them without vision calibration for the picking process, and to see what the flow is like for setting up multiple feeders in OpenPMP, trying to see problems that may arise down the road. Me and a bunch of people in the Discord are working on getting the whole software pipeline in Marlin working much better, but in the meantime, this was great for a test, but definitely not something that will last for a long time. <laughs> But for a little bodge to test something out, I'm happy with it. It works. Also, huge shout out to those of you in the comments who have mentioned that I put um, double-sided tape on my boards when I do uh, test placements. World of difference. Parts hop all over the place when you even a little bit of deflection on the board. If there's something like solder paste or a little bit of double-sided tape to hold the parts down, it makes a world of difference. So thank you for that recommendation. It's so cool. It's so cool. Multiple parts, multiple active feeders, all running through one motherboard, two cameras, live feed, along with all the communication for the motion control and the feeders through one panel, one USB cable from OpenPNP. If I had the vision stuff set up for this test, if I had, you know, calibration with the bottom camera to make the components move very precisely, this, this could be reflowed. All right, so moving forward, unjankifying my solution here with proper RS-45 control and a proper protocol is gonna happen in the background with all the wonderful devs on the Discord and on GitHub, along with tuning vision pipeline stuff, although that might be kind of a cool video, so we'll see. I might make a video about tuning the vision stuff too. But next up, we're working on a conveyor belt. I've already started working on some of the R&D for this. I've been live streaming some of the design sessions on Twitch, so if you wanna come prevent me from making horrible, terrible errors, there's a link in the description. <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. But before I go, I want to thank this video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay made all the boards that go into a feeder assembly, and they look awesome. From the time that I placed the order to the time that I had the boards in hand was less than a week. They have incredibly fair pricing. The boards always come out beautiful. I am very partial to their matte black with the ENIG gold plating finish. Ugh, they look super nice but also their standard gloss green with a hassle finish looks so good too. They have a whole team of engineers that looks over everything before they put it to production so you know that you're gonna get what you're trying to make. Thank you so much to PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
this wall. I want to tear it down. It's in my way. It's in my way. I can't though, that's the chimney. Is cereal soup? <laughs> Same energy. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs>